Chiefs and Raiders are underway. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. Breaking them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. And they go play action here with O'Connell. He hits Adams complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because, you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Down at the 25. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Here's second and seven. O'Connell now off the bootleg. That's caught by Myers. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. Throw out left, caught by Mayer. Only a yard of the completion, it's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam off, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Play action, now O'Connell. A quick throw there is incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. To the air again with O'Connell. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The Kansas City defense, tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Carlson able to put this one through, and the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Well, after Martin 
marching down the field, only getting three there. Kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better than they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive. And three points were put on the board. Sets up to kick this away. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down and staying ahead of schedule. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn on field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now that sets up third and two. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four four already. There he goes right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory at the 27. Throwing now is Mahomes. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. 
A good pickup there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Holding offense. Oh, All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center, because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you get that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. And he is caught, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle, and they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive, and even better than that, set him up with a first and goal. McKinnon. Is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Off the play fake. O'Connell. Over the middle complete. It's Myers. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's O'Connell. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So defensively, he's got the hand up too high, and that adds even more yardage to what was already an impressive run. And as a defender, you're doing what you normally do on any play, just grabbing at anything, trying to get him down. But when you're downfield, you're a little more exposed. They'll get you every time when they see it. First down throw, O'Connell. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third and six. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. The kick by Carlson is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Hardman to return it from his end zone. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Mahomes now on first down. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards, the final tally. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Mahomes now on first down to Valdez Scantling over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he's going to have a first down and they get into field goal range here at the 29. Oh. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Butker's kick here is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. start of the third quarter the Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football no run back here to begin the half and we will start at the 25 yard line the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three and Charles they've got the lead put your coaching hat on here now what's the game plan for the second half I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They work now on second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. 
Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first down, Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Holding offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throw left side, complete to Tony. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Play action, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Heavy set out there on third and one. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that'll lead you into bigger errors o'connell on first and ten and his throw is going to be incomplete i'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated here we are into the third quarter and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and 10. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. 
Here's a diving catch right side. That one good for 13 and a later first down. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 35, here's second down at seven. Play action. Now O'Connell. That's caught by Myers. It's a big play there for Vegas. 42 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. The quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Jacob's going to try the middle. Oh, he shifts past him. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. To throw here, O'Connell. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. Touchdown, Raiders! Jacoby Myers from eight yards out. And the Raiders are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Meanwhile, the home throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Mahomes to throw on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now brings up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, Guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, 
You've got a battle on your hands. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house, but boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. Mahomes going to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now Mahomes, that is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Chiefs will add to their fourth-quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point by Butker is on target, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Raiders offense ready to go. 
Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. On first and ten, it's O'Connell. Open man, that's Renfro. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They come up now on second and two. Here's O'Connell. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, O'Connell. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's second down. To the air again with O'Connell. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Now O'Connell. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had had having had to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Again, it's Pacheco. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory.
Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Phil Duffy picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium.